So there I was one day and I'm on the bus already. It's either the 101 bus in Manhattan or the 100 bus in Manhattan. I'm already on, I'm in the middle of the back so I can see everything. Interesting already. I just realized I could see just about everything. So this guy goes, gets on the bus, older man, black mustache, white long hair to about here, Italian looking with the nose and everything, or Jewish looking, I couldn't tell. And um, a kid, a little kid, uh, black hair, almost round face, long enough, you know. Um, I don't remember if he was tanner looking, the father was like more paper white looking, you know, very much so. The kid was probably tan, probably not, I couldn't tell. He wasn't really looking that much. So I noticed something, everybody noticed the same thing on the bus. It's uncanny how much you could feel that everybody else felt that moment when that kid got on the bus. And it was just fuming. You could tell, everybody could tell. Everybody could tell why he was fuming. He was upset. You know what the weird part is? I could feel that he was upset at his father. At his father. If that was his father. I'm saying. I don't know if that was his father. Or not. I don't know if that was his father or not. So. Something just came out of me. Just. They sat right next to me. I was in the middle of the bus in the back. You know. My favorite spot. And they sat next to me. The father, I think, was by the window, that window, and the son was close to me, between him and me. And the son came over me, and I said to the kid, you don't have to, you don't have to agree, but you must understand, I think is how I said it. I probably said you do have to understand, you just do have to understand. I didn't say must, because probably it wouldn't work, I don't think. I thought if, I thought at first I said that, but I'm pretty sure I said you you have to you, you you have to understand. You just have to understand. Later on, I adapted it to my kids. It was so effective. It was, um, I'll get back to that in a minute. That I told my kids something extra. I says, "You don't have to agree, but you do have to understand." And I says, "Later on, I'm gonna tell you different to my kids." This kid did not. Witness that part of it. I only told him the first part, which is you do have, to, you don't have to agree, but you do have to understand the part where I say to my kids, my kids, I'm gonna tell you different later. That didn't happen to this kid. It happened to my kids. So, oddly enough, it worked. Kids straightened up and everything. Oh, I didn't tell you that part. When I said that to the kid, the whole bus. Everybody that was feeling these feelings about this kid, it wasn't even about me. It wasn't about me at all. Kid had all the attention. He was fuming. Everybody that bought in the bus, when they heard me say that, they started applauding. Just about everybody. You don't have to agree, but you have to understand. It's unfortunate that they got the same message, the people, but they're older, so they'll figure it out when they get home. This kid probably learned the hard way from his father. I don't know. I wasn't there for that. Where the father has to say what I had to say to my kids. I'm going to tell you different now. Sometimes you have to agree. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. Right is right and wrong is wrong. So I wish I could have said that to that one kid. But I got a feeling that his ears were wide open at that time. When his father had to say, listen. You don't just agree. Sometimes you have to. I mean, you don't just understand everything. Sometimes you have to agree. I think I want to help somebody young or multitudes of young people by saying to them, be careful with understanding. Be very careful with understanding. There are some things that you can be patient about. You can be very patient about. And find out later. Don't worry. It's a good thing. Don't worry is a good thing. You know? Enjoy your life. Have fun. Be cheerful. Be thankful. You know, be acknowledged in as much as possible. 
be blessed as much as possible. I say be blessed because some people don't believe in God. I said it. It's a fact. Some people don't. Do I believe in God? Of course I believe in God. Some people don't. So I say be blessed. Sooner or later we all go through the motions. So with that, I'll say it one more time. Be blessed everybody. Take care. And I'll see you later.